Welcome to B&B University. Today, Pitmaster Shane D, myself, Chef Dylan Leip, are gonna be talking to you about pecan wood chunks. Why we love them, why your customers will too. Well, my grandfather built the whole business on this. He used to call this the queen of the woods. And I, and I think he's right. It is hands down one of my favorite wood chunk products. It is that perfect bourbony vanilla nutty note on top of a fire and I love it. Yeah, this to me, pecan is like the all-purpose rub. Oh, I like that, yeah. For grilling woods. Like this is the one, it's got that little spice to it. A little bit. Just a little, but it's to your point, it's, it's got that mellow roll where it kind of mellows everything out. Little, kind of has nice. that bourbon barrel kind of wood to it, you know, kind of kind of smell when it's burning. And I, I it, it reminds me, you light this on fire right now, it reminds me of being three years old in my grandfather's barbecue restaurant every single time. You know, and here's the thing I want to point out if you take a look at these chunks, like that's very easily identifiable. That right. was a tree. Yeah, this was a tree. <laughs> Still is, right? And what I like is the sizing on this. It's not too big, not too small. If you want to put this in the Kamado, you totally can. If you want to throw it in your offset. This yeah, is it's universal. This is a universal product. You can put this in a kettle. An offset, a Kamado, one of those little tabletop disposable grills. Right. Whatever you got, you can burn this in. And because of the size, if you want to go 100% wood fire, right. you can use one of the starters and just yep. light this and burn this and cook over it. Right. No charcoal, straight wood. You've got it. And you know it's real, right? How can you put fillers in this? There's no way to do it. I love that the product is kiln dried. Uh, it you know it follows the USDA process to be safe. So for all you campers out there, this can right. cross state lines. This is this is a fantastic right. thing to keep in the no RV insects, or the boat. No insects, no mold because of the, the, the kiln process and it's fantastic. It's, it's hands down one of my favorite wood products from, from B&B. Um, I, I really can't say enough about it. I love using this uh, on pork shoulders in particular. Uh, it still works for brisket and things like that, although I feel like you need a little heavier wood, you know, for a big old brisket. Uh, but usage profiles for your customers, everything, everything it really works on. But chicken and pork, in my in my opinion, it really shines. Yeah, and, and to mention, you were, you know, just to elaborate, you were talking about like a little punch for some of the bigger, beefier cuts. Mm -hmm. I love starting with pecan and putting just a couple chunks of mesquite in there. Right, just a little bit. Something like that. The other thing that's really nice is you mix a little bit of pecan with like a cherry. Oh yeah. A cherry, yeah. a peach, or an apple. And those two really play nice together on right. just about anything. But I always suggest if, if your guest is, and your customer has been used to using apple or hickory, get them a bag of pecan in their hands. They're really right. gonna like it. Right, yeah, I, I totally agree. To me, it's the non-fruit wood, fruit wood. It works just about everywhere. All right, so we talk about the recipe all the time. Base recipe, you use char logs, you use lump in the middle. This is your icing on the top, right? This is what you're gonna put on the top yeah. for that last, bring it home This is your finishing flavor. sauce, this right. is your gravy, this is your barbecue sauce. This is the thing that's gonna set that cook apart from everybody next door. There's a reason why the champions use it. Cook like a champion today.